There was a nation living in peace and unity hey, There are people with love and harmony oh, yeah. They saw greatness rise up to its purity We're another people, a different culture, a dear heritage by us and oppressive. Oh, I see, I see, a nation from trigger of Africa, rising with sweat and might and power. In due time, nobody gonna oppress us, rather you all gonna embrace us. With your flag, with your flag, with your flag, with your flag. Let the tears of our mothers who lost their children be heard Let the blood of our heroes speak from now till forever Let the whole wide world know Yafra is our home oh, yeah. Yafra is our home Way back, 967 Death toll and the blood couldn't kind of make it Mama's screaming, child's pulling pops on the ground Two and a half year, over three millions gone Why? Cause we ask for our freedom And we're going back to our sovereign kingdom They shut us down when we cry, the world say nothing Sitting back in the crib, watching our suffering Should I talk about the planes dropping shells like rain? Usuka had the first taste of a hero's blood A bag and a zobuni way was stronger than flood But a juke is too strong and fought them off on the chart Thought the bloodshed's gone, then it came again 216 and the massacre, he started again So bloody now, I couldn't cry tears Blood dripping down my eyes, water in my veins We died trying to fight the curse and we're trying to break him It's our freedom, but the world was against us yeah. With your flag over Africa Welcome people of Biafra Wave your flag over all the world See those people of Zion is here It is the nation that the Lord has chosen For the people of Zion It is the nation that the Lord has We choose freedom We need peace We choose freedom mm, yeah. Let the tears of our mothers Who lost their children be heard Let the blood of our heroes Speak from now till forever Let the whole wide world know Yafra is our home I see the rising sun from Africa Oh, this is a sign of victory oh, 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 yeah. I see future in Africa Oh yeah, people of Yafra From here and welcome to Voice of the People VOP, a program that has been designed to ensure that our people are interviewed about the happenings uh, in Biafra land. This is a program that enables us to also evangelize to Biafrans all over Biafra lands, those of them who have no access to uh, maybe the TV or the internet to add their opinion. Uh, through this platform, we ensure we reach out to them. So today we will be joining our brother, uh, Mazi Abraham, to hear what the people of Uzuakole have to say and what they are actually going through in the hands of the Nigerian government. You know, it's very important. And then we know what their take is. Uh, do they intend to remain with Nigeria or do they want Biafra to be restored? Very important. So we'll get to hear from the horse's mouth. Thank you very much. And don't forget, Voice of the People still need you to sponsor it. It is very, very important. Voice of the People need you to sponsor uh, financially, materially, otherwise, whichever way you can sponsor it is very important. Don't forget that all hands must be on deck. Once again, I am Ngozi Chukwoka. Stay tuned as we join our people there in the field over there at Usakole.
Bye for now. Welcome. We are still at Tamamba in Zuakole. Our mother is here. She wants to speak to the whole world about her views with respect to the conversation. Our mother is here. Yes. 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 Nebo. Yeah, That she wants Biafra to be restored in peace. That is true referendum, mm -hmm. not violence. As simple as that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for watching. Chukwu Abraham still reporting for BTV.
viewers all over the world, you are welcome. We are still at uh, Zuakole, and the village we have entered now it's Eduama mm -hmm. village in Zuakole, and it is still Voice of the People, a program designed by Biafra Television to ascertain the level of preparedness of Biafrans in different villages in Biafra land with respect to Biafra restoration and we are with one of the prominent persons in Uzuakole town. He is going to tell us his opinions with respect to Biafra restoration. Please don't touch the dial as we will get his opinion as raw as we shall get it across to you. Thank you. Keep watching. Chupu Ebuka Abraham is my name. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, my brother. Please tell the word your name. My name is Chief Felix Ikedezo Kebmeni, the Prime Minister of Eloam Autonomous Community in Luzakali, Ben the local government area, Abia State. Thank you, sir. We want to ascertain the truthfulness in the statements released by the media. And the statement was accredited to the Minister of Information with respect to the numerous projects that are going on in Bend community, Bend the town. He said that about 69 projects are going on in southeast, and many of them are currently going on in this area. Have you seen any of those projects here? Not at all. <laughs> I've not seen anyone here in Bend, look at comment. We are here, yourself. You can be a, can be a, be a witness. There's nothing like a federal government or anything a project here in Bend, except the road I've been doing from Omoa here to Anochuku over three years or four years ago, which they have not finished. So, but in Bend, to be precise, no federal, no federal government project, no, no project is, here. But a man uh, at the age of uh, uh, Muhammad, like Mohammed's age, he's not supposed to be telling lies. He's a liar. Lai Mohammed is a liar then. Uh, however, uh, the president of Nigeria said uh, recently that uh, he doesn't care if the rule of law is dragged to the, to the mud, uh, provided the country is not uh, broken, provided Nigeria remains the way it is, that if people's rights should be violated, he doesn't care. Just a few days ago, uh, is it a good thing to be heard from a democratically elected president? No. Happily, this morning, over the, his news, learned gentlemen have attacked him about the rule of law. He doesn't know. Okay, yesterday, I, I heard the president of America saying that he's lifeless. Okay. I heard that saying that uh, Buhari is lifeless because since he doesn't know the rule of law, he is lifeless. That is what interpretation means. Okay. So that is that. And he's been uh, uh, supported or deputized by a professor of law, a senior advocate of Nigeria for that matter, uh, a professor Yemi Osibanjo, that is and a pastor. Yeah. And under his watch, the rule of law is being trampled upon. Uh, Osibanjo is his, his, his boy. He takes what his master says. But the people who know the law told him that he doesn't know the rule of law. Rule of law supplies every other thing in Nigeria. Even the whole world. If there's no rule of law, they have no government. So how do you feel being under the leadership of a man who doesn't know and observe the rule of law? Yeah, just see us now. Every day, people are being killed under his nose, and he doesn't care. Yesterday, I learned that about how many people were killed in, in uh, Bauchi. Yesterday, a pastor or a reverend with his family, they were all born to his church. He, knew, he saw it and he said nothing. So that is why we are not happy. This type of government, we are not happy. Personally, I am not happy. Uh, it seems that the onslaught against Christians has um, been, you know, transferred to a higher level. Exactly. Since recently, a pastor and his family members were destroyed. destroyed. Now, does it mean Christianity is at stake in Nigeria? Yes. Uh, uh, yesterday or so, I learned somebody, a Muslim, told him that the killings of, uh, of Christians here, the great ten, ten, uh, danger for he, his government. So he doesn't care what happens to any other person except his people. So 
Okay, people call for what the prosecutor of Islamic movement. Movement. Uh, the Yesman. Yes. And they should prosper instead of prospering IPOB, who is <laughs> armless. So he refused doing that. He's seeing it. Yes, many persons have called for the proscription of uh, Fulani Yesman, yes, including please. the National Assembly. Assembly. They have jointly called for uh, that uh, terrorist, uh, terrorist to be uh, proscribed. Well, he has not seen any reason to do, do, do anything in that regard. Is yes. it because he is their life patron? He is. He is uh, this man said that whatever that is happening in Nigeria now is the Mecca. You know that Buhari is the life patron of uh, Mieti Alaka Two Brothers Association. Exactly, exactly. So he is the life patron of is a group of people who are killing people. What does he say about his? He, he, he doesn't say anything. He has said nothing. Uh, the email of email of uh, Kano, not Kano. So, 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 not Sato. The email of somebody I remember told him that he should look back. That the killing of Christians potent danger for him and for Nigeria as a whole. So that means the corruption he said he's fighting is not really fighting the corruption? No. This is the worst corrupt uh, government we have seen in the history of Nigeria. In the history of Nigeria. You recall that uh, recently the former D uh, director general of DSS, mm -hmm. Daura, Daura, was sacked yes. and his house was searched in the process and 21 billion naira was well, found in his, in his house, in his res residential quarter, 21 billion naira. billion naira. What does he say about fighting corruption? He's not doing anything about corruption. He's in, in fact, he's increasing the corrupt people within him. If a security okay. chief could house, house such money, 21 billion naira, within him, his reach, tell me, why are they fighting corruption? What type of corruption are they fighting? It's only the government is which one thing. Political opponents. Political opponents. They will continue. Uh, look at what they are doing to senior president. Because he said the simple truth. And they want to kill him. And now, from all indications, these bloody yes men who, uh, who are moving around from Benue to Plateau and all the rest of them, even to Be, um, Enugu and uh, Anambra, killing people are uh, in your community. Uh, they are in Izua Are you people safe? No, we're not safe. We're not safe, but we are. We are putting our eyes on them. Uh, what, what is the palace doing as a traditional prime minister? Yeah, what we are, is even, actually even there before yesterday, we saw this in Atakwago, Zakole. We did the whole races and do Chenku, Zakole. That what is happening here now? We are about to take our new young festival, but we are seeing people shouting that they have finished their farm. All their yams have been stolen by by people they don't know. So that is why we are discussing yesterday to know whether this would be the, whether have we come in here. But sometimes they came in between our days and we drove them out. We are still looking for them if they can come in again. Uh, uh, considering the way they operate uh, and the weapons they move about with, uh, are you sure that there is hope for Zuakali people? By the time they begin to unleash uh, mayhem, ah, on fact, we don't have AK-47 according to them. <laughs> but but uh, uh, do they have? Yeah, they do. The have. have. They have. Even I saw one a small boy, small boy carrying AK-47. In the dream? No, Phys uh, physically, no zongu here. I saw him. And, uh, did uh, policemen not see him? Why not? They saw them. So they allow them to. They have monopoly of violence. Thank you. Monopoly of disruption. If they saw, if they see you now with any knife, they declare you a terrorist, terrorist and charge you for treason. Treason for treason. But they see these people with the gun. They leave the other side. The policemen. So what does he imply? Well, we are under siege. What is the way forward? The way forward is for us to look ahead, go our own way. Let them leave us alone. Our own way. What is uh, our own way? What is our name? Ours. Our. Okay. Biafra. We need Biafra. We want to be away from these people. Because that is a name, a name word. They don't, they don't want to hear. They don't want to hear. If they hear from you, that word, you are in a name. But we are saying it. God will bear witness. So we need it. That's what we have. We fought for it and we need it now.
Uh, people like you must have uh, labored for three years or more during the first genocide, the worst genocide in the history of uh, Africa. Africa. And you people labored because of this name, Biafra, yes. to ensure we don't go into extinction. Now right. it has come back again, it is in our mind. Even the born children, when they are born, they will be told that we are not Nigerians, exactly. we are Biafrans. Exactly. What actually is the role of uh, our elders in this regard? Because people are saying that Biafra expression is championed by psycho fans. No, no sir. that was what was said then. But people like, you know, you know, His Excellency Ojuku. May so rest in peace. May he so rest in peace. He was a DO. By then, this is officer. But he decided to enter the Nigerian army for the purpose, and he did. And that purpose was what we are seeing today. He saw, and with the cheating, and the being perpetrated upon us, he said, no, we will not agree. And we are following his footsteps. I joined him in my late 20th year. I was 20 years when I joined the Biafran Army, 1967, precise, and we fought with him. He took us, he, he, he recruited us himself from the school, he recruited us, he trained us, and we fought with him. Till the end of the war, I was not, we were lucky. My age mate, we were about 11 of us. Joined the force. Then, how many survived? Uh, almost six of us came back. Others did not. No, we were fortunate to come back by his grace. And here now, uh, I know only three of us still alive. Still alive. We were discussing the other day. They have come to ask me. And they took my number. So that is that. Uh, now that you fought between 1967 and 1974, what you believe in, that is Biafra. Biafra. Uh, an opportunity has, uh, has, has returned for history to repeat itself and the choice is in our hands to decide the way forward. There are two options through which we can restore Biafra because Biafra can no longer be actualized. It is just to be restored. Biafra was there even before Nigeria was before born. Before Nigeria was born. So we're going to even I'm, look, I'm looking at that at it here now. The battle of Biafra. You are envisaging it here yeah. in your memory. Memory. So there are two options. One is violence, another one is through referendum. Which of these two options do you think Biafra should talk? By violence, we have taken it we have taken it by that way. Took the the rule by the horn. We fought. For three good years, let me not go further to, uh, when, to talk about the British, um, uh, British people involvement, involvement yeah. then, because without, without them, Biafra would have been restored by then. But now, what we need is only a referendum, but we have fought for it. Referendum is what we need. Referendum, without referendum, nothing. <coughs> We don't need an it's only a referendum. Uh, but Nigeria will not, from the body language of the presidency, they may not be able or be willing to grant us a referendum. What is your request to the international community who will be watching this interview from different places? What uh, is your advice to them? We, we are asking them, look at, look at Sudan, uh, Southern Sudan of yesterday. Um, what of uh, South Africa of yesterday? We helped South Africa to be free from uh, British uh, colonies, uh, British government. Southern Sudan just of yesterday, we fought before. They didn't fight. We have fought. They should listen to us. They listen to us. I, 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 I saw what uh, Trump told Buhari a few days ago. They should leave us alone. That's all. Unless they want us to carry guns again. That's all. What is your prayer for the man who started this thing we are doing now? Mazen Namde, come wherever he is. What is your prayer for, for him? Every day we cannot pray for him, for his life. Whatever he is, he's the only person we know. 
I was in Naba. The time he came, I saw him. We were coming. So my brother, now they came supposed to be somebody with us. Uh, he created history and he will make history. But Python Dance 2 came away. Python Dance 2. No. And we are we we're getting information that Python Dance 3 will soon. Uh, Python will soon dance again, the third one. At this day, maybe that will be under their grave. You see? They'll be under their grave. You see? They'll be under their grave. We don't want that fight again because we have seen enough of it. What, what did they fight in uh, Delta? Did they do it in Delta? No, sir. Uh -huh. Because only here. So they want to use it. They are coming to war. They are coming. But to... There is no crisis here. That's it. Now, what, what are they? Why are they? There is crisis in Sabisa Forest. Thank Boko you. Haram, uh, messing then, them let up. them go there and let them dance in there and dance with the Boko Haram and see what they will do. We are harmless here. We, are, we don't have anything. We don't have any weapon. We don't have anything. What are they coming here to dance? What are dance? Are they coming again to dance? They should leave us alone. Your friend need to, needs to be restored. Restored, exactly. You, and you support your friend's friendly. Exactly, from A to Z. The Prime Minister of Iluama Autonomous Community, Akaraka, Chief Felix. 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 Akaraka, one of Iluama's. Akaraka, one of his Iluama is in support of your friend's friendly. And he is asking everybody who needs to do whatever he or she needs to do for their friends to be granted a referendum to do it as soon as possible because lives are being wasted here on daily basis there is no way we can shy away from our responsibility the truth needs to be told and that is the simple truth your yeah. friends must be allowed to go as simple as that thank you for watching my name is chukwe buka abraham reporting for biafra television thank you thank you so, yeah. Viewers all over the world, you are welcome. When we, we are speaking with our brother a few minutes ago, he made reference to his uh, farmland being destroyed, to, to the farmland of his being destroyed by uh, the activities of Fulani Hesmen here. And we decided to ask him to take us to this farmland. And here we are in the farmland of this, our brother. The entire farmland was ravaged by the cattle areas who brought their cattle into this farmland. A few weeks ago i can see that there is nothing more here to be harvested the cameraman will show you the background before they came the cassava in this plant in this farmland had grown to a certain extent to the point of being harvested and these cattle areas brought their cattle into this farmland and destroyed the entire farmland of this man who even collected loan from the bank to cultivate this farmland and you can see some of them can you show the world the the stem of some of the cassava plants. They uprooted them and gave to the cow life in broad daylight. They uprooted them and gave to the cow. The cameraman will take you around now. Just keep watching. Thank you very much. So how much did you, uh, you actually labored to make this farmland the way it was before they, they came? How did you feel when they came and destroyed um, your farmland? When I came here, somebody came and told me on a Friday that the Fulani cattle areas with their cattle came, came into my farm. I said, let me go and verify whether they are saying the truth. When I got here, I discovered that all the cassava has been uprooted. You saw even plantain, banana that I planted here, they were all ravaged by cattle. I felt so bad. Calculated all the monies I spent, all the labors I used in cultivating cassava here, all was in vain. 
I felt it and I was so bad. Did you make any official reports to, or, or complaint to the police in respect to this? No, what I did was to complain to the Ezen Council. I told them what has happened because um, they said whatever that the cattle did that we should report to them because I never met them physically. Had they been I met them physically, I would have gone to the police. Now they have destroyed the cassava in your family. Why have they not returned to feed on the grasses that are growing now? Because the grass, you can see that the farmland has not turned to a wilderness. They should, bring, they should have brought their cattle back to feed on the grasses since there are no more cassavas here. Why are they not here again? They are purposely doing all these things. They are not even... We have bushes where they will go and feed their cattle with their grasses. But, um, but they deliberately uh, decided they, to be yes, feeding, yes, feeding their cattle yes, with... Yes, del deliberately feeding their cattle with the cassava. Not only me, other places. They were... They were uh, the, the, the person who gave me the information said that there were about two, more than 200 cattle that operated in my farm. And it's a terrible thing. Terrible it's a terrible. pity. It's quite unfortunate anyway. But uh, there's nothing else we can tell you than to um, pray that Biafra will come because the the restoration of Biafra will actually put a stop to this evil in our land. Instead of feeding the cattle with grasses, a group of persons have decided to be feeding their cattle with the labors of our people and it is unbelievable. Biafra will be restored and this evil will stop in our time. Thank you very much for watching. Chukwebu Abraham reporting for BTV. Thank you. Welcome back viewers all over the world. This is the farmland of our brother. We interviewed him a few minutes ago and he had to bring us to his farmland to, for us to take a, a look at, a view at what the Fulani Hesmen did to his farmland. The cameraman will take you around, you will see that this farmland would have grown bigger than this, but they brought in their cattle and the cattle had to feed on the cassava uh, farm. You can see the excreta of the cattle around. Uh, just take a look at the excreta. Conclude. Did they pay you any compensation for uh, destroying your farmland? Which they have even fought with me 
not talking of I don't even know if there's anything like compensation in this and you oh. and you obtained loan to to invest in this farmland I know how much I collected from Napo and to invest into this farmland my brother I can't be so how, how are you going to service the loan how are you going to repay the loan well that nothing I can do is still struggling from SWF to make sure every day they will be always pursuing me looking for their money but uh, sometimes I'll go them and say, look come and see they will not be able to believe me because the way their own mentality and the way they understand they thought I'm lying to them but I'll be, I thank God that you people can just I'm crying over it I don't know what to say about this thing my brothers it's unfortunate uh, that we have found ourselves in this kind of uh, terrible situation say, but uh, the hope is that when Biafra is restored this kind of thing will not this kind of thing will not be happening in our farmlands we will cultivate and then live to reap the fruits of our labor thereof i pray i pray so i pray so my brother i pray so and you had to even put the ropes the bubble tree in order because to prevent them, them from coming yeah, that will not stop them you look at the rope look at what they did they open it by themselves they open it by themselves look at all don't worry. When Biafra is restored, this kind of thing will not be happening. I that so. is sim the simple truth, and we will continue to say it. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Keep watching. Man. God bless you. Try to take you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, please, can you tell us your name? My name is George Chidedum. You're from. I'm Uzuwa from Uzako in Bend, the local government in Ibar State. Thank you very much. Uh, did you hear the statement of uh, President Trump? Uh, Trump is the president of the uh, United States. Yes, of America, I. He said that uh, Buhari is lifeless. <laughs> yes, what's even, your opinion about it? Even our leader, Namde Khan, has said it before now. Nigeria and the president and the whatever, Oshi, uh, our leader in Nigeria. Our president is not capable to rule this Nigeria. And you are saying it damage uh, you are, the military will come after you now? If at all, if at all, the Nigeria will go ahead with the military, I'm okay. Or the Nigeria will divide and everybody will go uh, anywhere you like. But uh, for me, I need to stay in Nigeria. I need to stay in Biafra land or I will leave this country. So. Why do you want to be in the house to live uh, Nigeria? No, no, Are you no, not no. enjoying life here? I'm not, uh, nothing, nothing here. You know, to my age, I'm 35 years now. I didn't see anything. My mates has run over me and go to America, benefit one thing or the other, and came back. So for this Nigeria, I'm not benefit anything. So I'm very, very. But you have good roads in your area. Nothing, nothing. If you go to my, if you go to my car. Uh, community things are very difficult for us no road no electricity no water and the don't you have farmland where you can farm you can he said the other day that uh, you people are lazy and the you are lazy even don't our, you have farmlands? our president is lazy more than us our president is lazy more than us you know if you go to other other country the president there is making well being people happy, but if you come to Nigeria, things are difficult for us. We are not benefiting anything. So your farmlands are there wasting. You, you are, you're supposed Even to go to the Boko Haram has go there and spoiled my cross and whatever I planted there. The Boko Haram has used cars and go there and spoil everything. So I'm not happy. And for what did you do about it? I'm just go to police station and report. That is nothing. So. And what did they do after the report? Uh, nothing. Nothing. So I just keep silent. That so, means your, your rights are being violated here. Exactly. Your, your human rights. Yes, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So and what do you, uh, what what do you think would be the hope of uh, Nigeria or Biafra rather in this in this case? My hope in this Biafra land, I pray to God that God intervene and decides what's good for the people. You know the masses here are suffering. But people, before this time now. That is a, this politician in Nigeria has done a poster and whatever to call us to come and vote again. But the one we vote, we never see anything. And definitely you will vote now. 
No, I will not vote. I will not vote. I, I may be a flag and I will, I will support Trump to help this Nigeria to divide. I need this country to divide. I'm tired. And when it's when Nigeria is divided, you want to be in Arewa or Duduwa or Biafra? No, I'm a Biafra land. Also, I'm a, I'm an indigenous of Igbo land. So you would like to be in Biafra? I, yes. So uh, you yes. want it to be done through referendum or through violence? Through referendum. Through referendum. Since you're a peaceful man. Yes. Yes. And is that date for referendum is fixed? Or will you come out and cast your vote? Yeah, I will call a lot of people to come and join me and go there and vote. I would like even my mother, my little ones. I will go there and vote. I love that. It's well. Even like I mentioned Biafra, you began to smile. Yeah, Biafra, yeah, 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 yeah. Biafra, Biafra makes is you a, happy. Biafra is a land of people. It's a land of. If we live in Biafra land, you know, the olden days, our uh, uh, masters and the the elders, they give people land to build house. You know, if you come to Biafra land, you will the last and comfortably so because Biafra is going to be a land where people will relax is that, is that your that opinion yes yes i love the country i love the country called yeah, Biafra. Biafra, yes Biafra yes it will soon be restored by god's grace i pray thank you I very pray. much for giving us the time to speak with you thank you sir and do have a lovely day thank you sir thank you very much and thank you sir you. thank you sir and welcome back viewers all over the world our mother and sister is here she wants to talk to the world about views with respect to Biafra restoration i mean they will please can you tell us your name my name is Madam Dominion Chinom So Ariwada. You are from this area? Yes, I'm from Uzaka. Yeah. yeah this is my hometown. All right. Uh, we uh, got information that uh, President Trump referred to Buhari as a lifeless president. Uh, what do you have to say about it? Yes, he is. Somebody who cannot do anything. He's just ordinary image. He couldn't do anything. He don't do anything in Nigeria. How much more? Even these rural areas, it doesn't touch us. You don't know anything about us. By the way, we are not, we are not Nigerians after all. We are Biafrans, and they are, they, they are, they are this thing, cow, this thing. Uh, they are herdsmen. Always uses, we use us as slaves. They destroy our farm products and everything. They come inside market, destroy our goods and our, all our wares we sold in the market, and they won't tell us sorry. The men are, are also here, terrorizing you. Yes, terrorizing us, destroying so many things. If you talk and tell them not to destroy them, they will use their uh, 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 dagger, wow. dagger and uh, uh, stab you. Do they also carry guns? Yes, they carry guns and destroy us. And uh, their president said, let them continue, that nobody will attend to us. If we go to police to report, nobody will attend to us. And, uh, Go to government house, nobody will attend to us. Uh, it, 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 does it mean that he is lifeless? He is lifeless. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't feed us. A lively person will feed his, his nation. But his Minister of Information, uh, Mr. Lai Mohammed, said that many road projects are going on in your area. Nothing like that. We don't have any road. Our side, only on northern side, they may uh, yeah, build roads. So does As, it mean that Lai has told Lai again? Yes. There are so many places that the road has closed. We will use leg. No vehicle will go pass through it. Even Okada cannot pass through it. Is it true that Fulani Hesmen take their cattle into the into people's farmland in, in sure. Zuokale? Even farmlands today. In Zuokale and destroy their, their uh, crops. Uh, crops and food stuff. Even if, if you see them, you run away. Because if you come closer to collect your, your farm produce, uh, product, they will stab you. Without even talking to them, they will stab you and destroy you, kill you. With impunity? Yes, with their guns and their distance. He gave them guns. Where he gave them guns? Don't policemen see them to arrest them? Policemen, they were ordered not to arrest Fulanis. They collected guns from us that we should not handle guns. Even our vigilantes, vigilantes, local, uh, vigilantes. Uh, local vigilantes cannot Community carry. Vigilantes. Uh, even hunters, ordinary hunters, should not carry guns. They have collected them, go to the houses and collected all of them. But they ban them that it's only Fulanese that will handle guns. Wherever they see us, they, they shoot us to death. The same Fulanese men have committed blunder. They have committed evil, atrocity and murder. Mm -hmm. In Benue State, in Plateau State, mm -hmm. they are still ravaging different communities and they are here in Izuakal. Are you people safe? Yes, we are not safe. They have entered everywhere, every nook and cranny, Fulani. 
Wherever they see, they see your fowls, they see your, your, your goat, they collect. They drag them and eat. We, uh, we cannot talk, because if you talk, your, your own has ended. What is the hope of Uzo people in this regard? We don't have hope, because nobody to gather for us and nobody to revenge. Have you heard of Biafra before? Yes, Biafra is my homeland, and we are expecting it to come to pass, so that we have free, freedom. We want to be liberated. I saw a sense of relief when I mentioned Biafra. Your face, sir. Whenever Biafra. I hear Your... Biafra, even in the dream, every time I like today, if I enter to sleep, I will dream of Biafra. I always dream of freedom. The day Trump will come and declare Biafra, so that we will get freedom. We are dying. We are in the horse soup. So it means Nigeria is hell for our people. I, I'm not a Nigerian. I always say it. Yeah, my children, even my three old child. If you ask him, where do you belong? What is, in which name is your country? He will tell you that he's a Biafra and not Nigeria. He even write it in examination, they bad it. In, in, in the school? Yes, in the school. What's the name of the school? The school, uh, uh, yeah, Roman Catholic school here. Yeah. Here yeah, in Uzaka? Yeah, in Uzaka. The teacher marked it. They, uh, they ask, uh, they ask the, uh, which country do you belong? Others wrote Nigeria because he, that small boy, three years, always follow me to meet him. So yeah, wherever he see anybody, say I'm a Biafra. He wrote that he's a yes, Biafra. Yes, he said Biafra. The teacher marked him bad. Uh, bad that uh, if he might correct that they will uh, throw him out of job. Anyway, uh, that that will be a story for another day. Uh, mm. Since you are a Biafra, there is yes. only one one option. That is to restore Biafra. Yes. Do you want Biafra to be restored? I need that restoration. I need it. If if Biafra come today, if Biafra come today, come to be, that is, I feel like flying. Uh, it seems you are anticipating Biafra restoration. With yes. Uh, yes. Do you want it to be restored through violence or through referendum? Mm -hmm. Through through referendum. A peaceful process. A, a pre peaceful process, and it is going to happen that way. Uh, it seems you are optimistic. You are, uh, you are yes. quite hopeful about it. Yes. Uh, you, uh, if that date is fixed, will you vote for Biafra to be? Jesus Christ. I will, I am also campaigning. Wherever I go, farm, any boss I enter, I don't even listen whether outside or not. I will only campaign that I am a Biafran, that others, I will ask you, where do you belong? You tell me. I begin to make campaign for about Biafra. You are making sense now. Yes. Sisters now. Yes. And so many people who doesn't know, I tell them so several stories that will stimulate them to, to, to meet up and know what Biafra is all about. And so many of them have changed from their normal senses and turned to Biafra now. Uh, Even a, when we go to meetings, uh, village meetings, I always uh, no day where I will go to meeting, I will never uh, uh, tell anybody about Biafra. I hope they will not shut you up. They will they... always call me Mama Biafra, <laughs> which I am not. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. It seems you are uh, Biafra is running in your blood. You are yes. Biafra, and everything yes. about you is a bearing witness that you are quite confident that Biafra yes. will be restored, and it will be restored in your lifetime. You shall... Yes, no, 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 no. Now, 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 never. This year, sir. If that date is fixed today, will you vote? Jesus Christ. <laughs> if, <laughs> I, I will feel ten ta uh, vote ten times. Thank you very much for giving us the, the time yes. to speak with you, and uh, yes. I pray you shall see Biafra. Yes. Uh, what message do you have uh, for other women who are watching us from different countries? I am telling them to help us. Help us. We are dying. See people in Imo State, what they have done to them, put them into prison. Women who are naked, stuck naked, they carry them into the prison yard. Roger said that he will not release them, that he will not allow them to be fed. Pregnant ones are Pregnant also, ones, also among them. Also among them. We are the only breast here. Eh? The people, their families went to give them food. Rogers refused. Uh, Buhari refused that they will not be fed. They left them hungry that they will die of hunger because they are looking for freedom. Because they asked for, for their, freedom. Their, their son, their husband. Mm -hmm. Stand them the canoe. Uh -huh. That Nam the canoe will be released and they allow us to get our freedom. That's what we heard about it. Yes. Uh, they, they shall all see Biafra. Yes. People are doing Amen. well. People are doing well and uh, I pray God will strengthen all of you. Amen. Thank you very much for giving us time to speak with you once again. And, thank you. And thank you very much for watching. Yes. You're welcome. Let the world help us. So. Come, please, can you tell us your name? My name is Emmanuel Mosu. from Akadi. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, did you hear the report of uh, President Trump that Buhari is lifeless? Yes, my director has been talking about it since the beginning of the struggle. He said it's a lifeless man. Starting from January 23rd, 2017, he said 
Buhari is dead, but still, people doesn't believe it. But this is the confirmation of uh, the whole thing. But when you said it, uh, everywhere ran uh, into confusion. They even wanted to kill him. Yeah. Now Trump has said it. Who will kill Trump? So is that, is that is what we are asking the Mr. President to see go and do, see, do the same Maybe thing. Maybe Python will dance in the US. Yes, that's the is fourth what, one. Yes, we want him to go there and, and dance. conduct Python dance. Yes, yes, we want him to dance, go and there and to conduct the Python dance to the US so that we can see how it will work. Uh, did, you, did you hear that uh, the Minister of Information, Mr. Lai Mohammed, said that about 69 road projects are going on in Southeast and many of them he cited are going on in? In Bende. Sir, our, and Uzu Akoli is a prominent town in, in Bende. How many road projects are going on here? Sir, uh, uh, even though, uh, you, when you are just mentioning all these things, like my, my skin and everything just like, uh, this, you see, code is just coming out of my skin. It's a very big lad. They are making all these things in, in media and radio station and all, other, all, this, all those places. And I pity for those who are listening to them. If they want to see the reality, they should come down to those places they mentioned to see it with their eyes. But the man has told us, like Mohammed, shouldn't tell lies. And Thank God, can you equally hear his name? Picking up his name, lies. His, his, his name is working, he's flowing inside his blood. So, his you life. mean he has something to do with uh, that name is affecting his life? Very, very much. Not even from this one, he said it, it has been affecting him for a long, long time. Long, long time. Did you also hear that uh, President Buhari said that uh, he, he doesn't care about the rule of law? Provided Nigeria is, is, is the way it is, that means people's rights can be trampled upon. That means you don't have any rights as a human being. Sir, so, there, there is a word I came across to. They said, if a, 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 a notable man like a man can be go to ransom, nobody can be able. Nobody is willing to ask of him. A senator, uh, uh, South East senators, governors, and the honest and people cannot even ask his way about. That means we come on us as we are nothing. We are our life is just like a leaf. They can be plugged out that nobody can even question Africa. them. Yes. So what is the hope of commoners in this part of the world? Wow. So, yeah, I, 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 even, oh, it pains me so much that the UN himself and they are not even doing anything at all at all. Because they are only the hope that the, the whole world are looking at for them to add, but they are not even adding. You are, you, if the UN can come to our own risk, if they want to save our life, they should come very, very right now. Give us our own personal freedom. Because all you go to the new, even the people who are even doubting it, they really need this Biafra we are talking about. Are you not free in Nigeria? Are you not free? Yes, how am I free? You can equally look at the way I, I, I look. A very brilliant boy from the childhood, but even though the nature and the condition of the whole this now are trying to turn me upside down. So you are not free, you want to be free? Quite sure. There are two ways of getting freedom. One is through violence. Another option is uh, to do the friend. Mm -hmm. Which of these two options do you prefer? Sir, at least uh, uh, for me to say we have tried to violence before, it never works. So this one is a very well universal uh, system that uh, internationally everybody recognized referendum. They, sh they should give us referendum. So what that if they fail to give you referendum? So they must give us referendum. What if they fail? Other options should be followed. Which option? <laughs> Are you afraid? I can never. Why well, would I be afraid? Is this life, I this bet. is not life. But your first choice is huh? referendum. Yes. And there are two but, choices, yes. referendum violence. Yes. So if referendum if fails. The other ones follows. As long as we can still get our own freedom. But you want referendum? Yes. If that date is fixed, will you vote? Sir. Or be afraid to be restored? Jesus. I even though people who, my followers, those who I talk to, those who listen to me will equally vote. And what is the message you have for other young men who are who are not who are adamant about the Biafra restoration? Sir, who I, think that Biafra restoration is uh, a business championed by psychophants? Sir, I, 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 the truth, I really pity them. Why I really pity them? Because they don't seek for information, they don't seek for their future, they don't even have any other option than just to live the way they are. I only just ask the young men who are out there who really want freedom. For, you know, most of them have a good talent, they, they have something to showcase, but due to they don't have freedom, they don't have anything to do, they are, that's why they are just wangling and dying with their own personal talent. I ask them to just come out now for us to just get our freedom once and for all. Once and for all, because anybody that has freedom has a very long thing to just give out.
let all the youths come out so that we will put hands together and get our freedom. Yes. Some of my friends are claiming that Biafra Restoration is championed by psychophants, by illiterates. Since God has given you the opportunity to acquire education, you are brilliant. What are you doing with that uh, brilliance? If Fulani Hesmen invade our land, you will die with your education. Yes. You will die with your MBBS. Yes. You will die with your MOSC yes. and PhD. Yes. When they destroy everything here, you will be destroyed. Even your, your, your certificates yes. come out, they will not kill everybody. Yes. Stop being a coward. Yes. Otherwise, all of us are at stake. Even your religion will yes. be at stake. Yes. Let's put hands together and get Biafra restored.